Longtime author and political satirist P.J. O'Rourke died this week from lung cancer. O'Rourke wrote for everyone from the National Lampoon to the Weekly Standard, covering national politics, war, and everyday life. A native of Toledo, Ohio, his mother's family was from Chicago, and he spent two years at Oak Park and River Forest High School. Well known for his conservative and libertarian politics, O'Rourke was raised in what he called a rock-ribbed Republican family. But as he told Phil Ponce in 2015, he briefly strayed during young adulthood. The first weekend of my freshman year, I was walking down this alley in the college town. I went to Miami of Ohio in Oxford, Ohio. One side of the alley was the, like the frat and sorority bar. <laughs> And boy, those girls were cute. They were really cute. But, you know, I wasn't a star athlete. I wasn't a rich kid. I wasn't a sharp dresser. Over on the other side of the alley, there were equally cute girls strumming guitars, smoking camel cigarettes, drinking beer straight out of the bottle. And I thought, I might stand a <laughs> chance over there. And so that's, so I come home. I, I was raised in a rock rib Republican family. I come home with my hair down to my behind big red fist on the back of my jacket and my grandmother looks at me and she says, Pat, I'm worried about you. Are you becoming a Democrat? <laughs> Grandma, Lyndon Johnson's a Democrat and he's murdering all these innocent Viet Cong and so on and so forth. Of course I'm not a Democrat. I'm a communist. And my grandmother said, just as long as you're not a Democrat. <laughs> P.J. O'Rourke died Tuesday at his home in New Hampshire. He was 74 years old.